Okay, we're going to be planting a woodland goldenrod. And so we're going to go down here, dig down a few inches. See how the roots have just bound that plant up. We want to separate that some. Those, those roots need to breathe. So I'm separating these roots so that they can get well established. And we're going to put this down here in the soil. Now that we've spread that out a little bit, we're going to move the soil in there loosely around it and voila, we have planted. So make your own hole. Good deal. Now does it matter how deep I go down? You want to go down deep enough. That should be good about there. Mm -hmm. You want to go down as deep as those roots are. Mm -hmm. Separate those roots out. Yeah, that's kind of hard. They, they've been in that, that pot and they're, they're bound up. We're going to separate that out. Sure, just like that. Okay. Clean out that hole mm -hmm. and there you go. Now, we do have to water these. Do we do that now? We're going to water at the end because otherwise we would be watering in an area where we're going to continue to plant. So before this evening is out, we're going to bring the, the water tank over and, and all of these are going to get a nice drink. So this is as easy as one, two, three. One, separate the roots. Two, put in the hole. Three, water it. That's it. We did have to prepare the soil in advance. And so the soil was, uh, it, this area was tilled, the grass was removed, and so that work was done uh, before we got here this evening. Yeah, I noticed it was really pretty easy to dig down in here, and, and so right. you've prepared that ahead of time. Yes, Because yes. uh, typically here in Indiana, we wouldn't find it like that. You wouldn't find it like that, no. The, the, the grounds crew at Franklin College came in and made all of this happen for us today. Okay, don't you want to uh, get a rake and get all these twigs and all this wood and stuff out of here? Oh, no. This is just part of what would have been found on the forest floor anyway it's going to it as it gradually decomposes it will break down and provide nutrients for the plant so that's just fine in fact we will come in with a layer of mulch when we're all done which is just going to be more twigs and things to keep down some of the weeds that's going to also help keep in our moisture we're having to recreate this and so uh in that forest soil that forest soil is actually fairly uh loose because you've got all of those leaves that are decomposing returning nutrients to the ground uh you don't have people walking across it compounding or, or compacting the soil all of the time so that that soil is fairly loose not as loose as what this is to be able to grow in but those seeds will get established uh, in the in the wild you have seeds or you have plants that are already established that are sending up runners that are sending up new sprouts now um, if these get flowers well, don't we need some insects to come and pollinate them oh or? yeah we'll have we'll have lots of wonderful insects through here the flies the bees the wasps the beetles will you have to add those insects no they will come be? they will come they will come they if, will be here and to borrow the phrase if you build it they will come they will come, <laughs> they will come. This can happen at Franklin College or any city or even in your own backyard.